Set in an 18th century building, the Grand Hotel du Palais Royal is in the heart of Paris, 650 feet from the Louvre Museum and the Jardin du Tuileries, boasting the most prestigious addresses in the French capital. And to our pleasures, where me and my boyfriend will be staying during the rest of our time here. Ideally matched to the original architecture of this historic building and framing the majestic staircase, beneath which dozes a giant trunk, this boutique's hotel 68 rooms each revel in their own originality. I love the design of this hotel. As an homage to Parisian craftsmanship, the Grand Hotel du Palais Royal rooms and suites are outfitted with fabrics, drapes, and wallpaper from French design houses alongside contemporary art and modern furnishings with interior design by Pierre-Yves Rochon. Just gonna show you guys what the fitness room and the hammam, which is the sauna of our hotel, is like. I may grab that apple though, I'm a little, a little hungry. This way to the hammam. Get your bathtub and everything here. This is like the showers. Oh, this is nice. Just like your own. Lockers provided. So beautiful. So this is the hama. Oh, wow. Oh, that's, you can see how beautiful it is. It looks like stars. This is the tea room. It is a tea room with a refresh. Yeah. We just checked in to the Cron Perez du Palais Royal Hotel. I think that's right. Did I get that right? Uh, it's Grand Hotel du Palais Royal, which is right across from the Louvre Museum. Louvre, Louvre Museum. Pardon my French. This is our junior suite. The price is about 1,200 euros for the night. Has beautiful walls with a nice sitting area. I'm in love with this painting right here. Okay, but again, we love the views. So my favorite part is this stepping out into our own little world of Paris. Ah. Okay, so I don't think you can really see it from this lens I'm using, but our hotel that we stayed at was just right there, our previous hotel, that's the Opera House. And then that is Sacre Coeur, where we were in Montmartre. And I don't know what this building is, but I'm loving it. And then that is the Eiffel Tower, I think you can see it. Yeah, the Eiffel Tower is right there. And then the Louvre is just right there. So we're really smack center of Paris and it's a really beautiful just little balcony that we have here. And the weather is, for winter is 14 degrees so 
This feels like a Canadian spring. This is unbelievable. Okay, so we're gonna do the iconic bed test. Ready? Let's see how nice this bed is. One, two. Okay, it got my approval. <laughs> so here is the bathrooms. The hotel. Slide these glass doors also. Step inside this beautiful place. Look at that bathtub. Wow. Then separate Look at this separate toilet and shower. This is how you wake up in Paris. Just got some really cute welcoming amenities. Look at that cute little back row. Which one do you want? Mm -hmm. The one is pistachio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what the other is. Maybe. Right, but I don't know what it is. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Me too. It's not vanilla. Mm. But it's familiar. Yeah. Mm, it's really nice. Yeah. Mm. The hotel's restaurant, Le Lully, is named for the Italian-born French composer who spent most of his life in the court of the Sun King, designed as a winter garden with floor-to-ceiling windows that frame the view onto a lush courtyard. The Michelin-listed restaurant is helmed by a gifted chef whose seasonal menu complements the light and breezy setting. So this is where we will be having breakfast in this really beautiful Classic breakfast, mushrooms and sausages. Oh, and then of course my favorite for breakfast, salmon. Morning everyone, so that was such a good breakfast and now unfortunately it's our last day in Paris. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, our Paris adventures with us because it was one amazing trip. I think this is definitely out of all the trips that we've taken so far, including this past summer, one of my favorites. It, just because before this I was working, you know, it was really hectic um, working hours. And I'm off to just chill with Beirut during the holidays and also Paris is one of my favorite cities so it's always awesome to be back here and I know that we'll be back here soon. Summer. So, 
and the top this time we got really amazing accommodations as you can see here on the even this freaking balcony rooftop with this view of Paris. One more time, one more time, one more time. Ah. So we're gonna we're gonna check out quite soon. We just have a really nice bath and then shower and clean up now. But we're gonna check out check out really soon and then take the train and we have, we have a little bit of a layover in Brussels and uh, from Brussels then in Amsterdam right in Miami so um, what can I say this has been just will always have Paris so I hope you guys enjoy comment on your favorite part of Paris because I think this is my favorite part of your place. Look at that. that. You can see that I'm talking about right there. And uh, Museum the Louvre right over there. And the Opera House. Where's the Opera House? Right, right there. And Sakaku right there. Guys. Bisou bisou.